out and took a little time off and ain't nothing changed in Huntsville. <laughs> I see Tisha still down there cosplaying as a doormat child. First girl, you was already dripping in delusion, child. Now you drowned in despair, drowned in drinks, child. D dripping in Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Let's pray for Tisha. Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about love and marriage. So I was going to review last week because I thought it was pretty good and the week when they had the um, after the the Black Expo, the Black Expo, when they had the little round table because Tisha was pissed off that Marceau had apologized to Mel. And if you notice her face, this is just a little recap. If you notice her face, she was pissed off and didn't know that Marceau had hung around Mel, had went and had lunch with Mel. So I was like, okay. <laughs> So when I seen this episode last night, I was like, okay, let me go ahead holler at my boobs <laughs> so we can talk about this shit. Anyway, so if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Your best friend from St. Louis is back. Uh, towards the end of the video, I'll tell y'all the other type of the other um, shows and stuff I'll be reviewing. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with my eyelash and it shine on my face. I worked out this morning. All right, so that's why I got to shine. Anyway, fuck all that. So the episode, <laughs> the episode starts with Kiki and Mill. They talking, um, it picks up like right after the last episode. And if you notice, during the previews, they show Tisha in the kitchen with Kenny in the past episode talking about some, yeah, did you see the Crime Stoppers? And I hope she not back on pills, da 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 da. Carlos knew what he was doing. He just wanted to let y'all know that Kiki might act a fool tonight, but this bitch Tisha is messy as a motherfucker, bitch, because you brought that to the show. And if you ask me, I think that coming into this season, Tisha and Marceau already knew they was dealing with that $5 million lawsuit. A lot of people are breaking stories about them. All kind of stuff. So I think that they brought that to the show just to take the heat off them. Y'all, I don't know why I'm so hot. Anyway, bear with me. Anyway, so I think they brought the story to the show, to the Crime Stopper show, to, you know, take the heat off him because it had already happened in Huntsville. They already seen it on the news. But who brought it to the show? Whatever. Anyway, so Kiki's sitting down there with Mel. Look like they having a good old brunch, good old lunch. Mel all into her food, soaking up all of this tea. So basically, Kiki, like, yeah, so bang, bang, they keep bleeping everything out. She was basically saying, Marcel girl, he had a whole motherfucking threesome with these one, two hoes. They came back, told me, boom. I called Tisha like, bitch, come over to the house because I got to tell you something. Tisha never came. You know what? You know your cousin. You know your friends. And you know which one of your friends you could tell some shit about they man and they going to listen to you. You also know your other friends that ain't gonna believe shit you gotta say about that man. Girl, I seen him getting a six piece for a bitch. He bent down, gave her the soda, gave her a kiss. They was tongue kissing. Who, what kind of car was he in? Bitch, I just said, I see you. <laughs> bitch, it's like Tisha, I can't be friends with him. Like, even though this don't have nothing to do with me, bitch, I just can't fuck with you. You way too dumb for me, exactly. Anyway, but let's get Tisha a break. So that's what Kiki said happened. Mel like, oh my God, bitch. And apparently, so this is what the T is. The girl is Tisha's makeup artist. Do I believe that? I don't know. Cause you know, they did say it was her stylist. The STL chemist girl on Instagram. Her name is your fave chemist or something. Not STL. It's like your fave chemist or something like that. The girl is really cute. They said she was Tisha's stylist and we all know Tisha's style is on point. She may be dumb, uh, you know, 
we don't we don't try not to talk about Tisha too bad on this episode, child. We're gonna pray for Tisha. Exactly. Send the spirits up on this Sunday. The moral of the story is I couldn't believe that it's either her makeup artist or her stylist. Either way, Kiki was saying that she wanted Tisha wanted Kiki to get rid of her stylist. I'm assuming because her stylist or makeup artist, I'm assuming because she the one who gave the tea or spreading the tea around Huntsville. And Kiki like, no, bitch. I'm not getting rid of nobody. You ain't getting rid of the bitch that's fucking with your man. <laughs> and if we're being honest, if I'm Kiki or Tisha, I ain't getting rid of none of them bitches because Tisha and Kiki be looking good. Did y'all see TT? Did y'all see Kiki in a confessional with her hair up in them braids and the little side ponytail? Kiki looked like a black porcelain doll, child. Kiki and Tisha are some pretty ass girls. It's a shame that they got that uh, cousin rivalry going on. Let me tell you something real quick. So, I had a cousin that I was really close to growing up. We always hung with each other. But it was kind of like a cousin rivalry. And the parents instilled that. I can still remember my pop off funeral. My mama went out, bought me a dress polka dot dress with the little frilly socks remember we used to have like the little patent leather shoes with the little frilly socks and stuff cousin her mama my auntie she like the evil auntie of the family <laughs> she goes and buy my cousin the exact same outfit but get her gloves and everything and made it a competition parents do that and we've seen that the last few seasons with miss wanda and the people who talking about if miss wanda was her she would have got with kiki Kiki been reading Miss Wanda. I wish Miss Wanda was on her just so Kiki could splash both of them hoes. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, so she was talking about Marcel having a threesome. So apparently, child, I ain't never gonna work out again if this tie calls me to sweat. <laughs> and it don't help these infrared lights beaming down on my frontal lobe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fuck that. If y'all new here, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe. So I can get out of this. <laughs> Back to the threesome, child. So anyway, apparently the boyfriend of one of the girls who had the threesome, he gets online on YouTube and he got an audio recording. He broke up with the bitch like you a threesome having bitch and you fucking with this nigga. And he got hips. Hip smoke lot, he got more hips than he got body. Boyfriend wasn't going for it. He down to the YouTube child selling um selling or giving the um the audio away to somebody on YouTube. Apparently, Tisha and Marceau fucking is trying to blackmail him or trying to buy the tape. I don't know. Either way, it's messy as a motherfucker between the lawsuit. Later on, we find out somebody called the city and said that Marceau didn't be gambling down there. Tisha being dumb as a motherfucker still hanging around Stormy after she didn't call your husband a dirty ass, bald head ass biatch <laughs> in your face. Y'all can really get, we. I can really be done with all of the Scots. Speaking of the other set of Scots, so then we get a new scene where Maurice punkin' head ass, ooh. I have never not liked a character probably more than I like Maurice. Only because, at least with Martel and Marceau, we know these some jerks. These some jerks, these some assholes, these some little scumbag merry ass dudes. Maurice tries to play like he's a light skinned Dr. Martin Luther King getting done. Yet. You're a fucking asshole. I've been done with Maurice ever since that whole cancer. I'm glad she suffered through it. I lost respect for Kimmy. Girl, you trying to um do photo shoots and this man talking about him so he bought Kimmy a new car he was telling Marceau about how he ain't had sex he only have sex twice a month congratulations I bet you got a look because those hot a lot of hyperactive dudes sexually I you ever meet a dude and you be talking to him for a while and they just talking about yeah and I like to do this and this and this. you be like oh you know maybe I might try this out you know what I'm saying a little razzle dazzle for Scorpio season <laughs> no you be like this medium this extra medium penis that's what Maurice gives me I'm surprised Kenya is still with him she's making a fool out of herself 
Mar uh, Marceau, he don't give a damn. He like, uh, that's every regular married couple having sex two times a month. I don't know. Is that regular? My married couple's down there. Tell me, is that regular? Like, how often is regular for a married couple to have sex? I think about two to three times a week. That's a sexual, that's a healthy sexual marriage to me. But that's just me. I'm a Scorpio, so <laughs> I don't know. If you an Aquarius, is that tell me what this is. Anyway, fuck all of that. So Marceau gets to talking about how he don't fuck with Stormy. He don't fuck with uh Courtney. But he had a little ammo in his heart. He was like, and I don't fuck with them and da 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 You didn't have that energy when you were sitting in front of Courtney's face. You really didn't poo. So he must have thought about it like, damn, I am a bitch. Am I a bitch, baby? Tisha ain't on a bitch. Baby, you is kind of a bitch. Can I, <laughs> I think more so went home, fucking thought about that shit. And was like, no, I am really a bitch. And she's portraying me as a bitch. And her husband punking me. And that's why he got that energy for Courtney now when he's talking to Maurice now. Because he was playing it off and didn't have that energy. Now he like, and I don't like nobody that called me a bitch. I honestly think that Marceau is trying to get, trying to push Stormy and Courtney them off the show. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. <laughs> because Tisha is, uh, so we talked about Tisha launching her new um, hair care line for her daughters. If y'all haven't seen it, check out my uh, TikTok. I put the little ad when they did it months ago or whatever. It was on Tisha's uh, Instagram. So apparently, in a return policy, she basically copy and pasted Stormy shit. And if you want to return it, you return it to Canvas Beauty. Bitch. So when Tisha's talking to Marceau in the next scene, she gets to cry. Oh my God, I don't understand why. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about none of that. And they like, no, we use the same, um, they apparently use the same website creator. And Huntsville's small, I'm sure if you know, if there's one guy who does everybody's website and does a great job, he might've used it. Say for instance, this man did make a mistake. Copied and pasted uh, Stormy's. You know what that still tell us? You still copied off her bitch. Just like Mel was saying and reiterated, you copied off Mel podcast. Her fucking, um, what is it called? Not your icon. Your logo, her logo. Bitch, you copied, it, copied, walked, cleaning her footsteps. Now you wanna have her care products. Now you wanna use your kids to promote like Mel used to do to Eminem kids and some Martell motherfucking ass start hating. Now you copying off Stormy in the same breath when your husband trying to make fun of Courtney for being in a her car business. Child, you do not try to imitate me or emulate me, child. And you trying to do the same shit I'm doing. Where they do that at? At the Scott household. Girl, fuck Tisha. And even so, you should have been read your website two to three times. And notice, damn, this shit say Canvas Beauty. Let me take this down. And like uh, Stormy said when she was talking to Courtney, if you knew what the fuck you was doing and if you was involved, if you were a real businesswoman, you would have access. On my website, I, I, can, I can edit some shit on my phone in the app. What you need to do. That just lets you know, Tisha ain't about that life, child. She ain't new to this. And she ain't true to this. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, girl? You losing in your relationship and in business? You better be happy you got some pretty skin, child. <laughs> Tisha's skin is saving her. Hey, girl, you better be lucky you a black Barbie down. Anyway, but I digress. So Tisha starts crying, child. With Marceau, like, people always hating on me. I don't be doing shit. I'm just a regular bitch from Bessemer. I don't be. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I couldn't be Tisha Friend. Because, <laughs> bitch, I'm going to tell you don't get to crying now. Don't get to backpedaling now. Exactly, bitch. No, for seasons you was going in on mail. You even tried to be messy this season, asking now a woman who y'all claim y'all barely know like that about infidelity in her marriage. Bitch, you stay starting shit. All you do is start shit, bitch. You are the shit starter of the show and always crying at the end of the day. You get on these reunions and start crying. I don't know why people are always coming for me and my marriage and my espo and uh, Fuck Tisha. I am so done with Tisha, child. 
And I thought she had got a little smarter this season. She's still a dumb Dora. Okay, fuck all of that. <laughs> so, Kimmy and uh, Maurice, they had a picnic, child. They always got a picnic or some shit going on. <laughs> anyway, it looked fun, though. Kimmy was cooking. We know Kimmy know how to throw down in the kitchen. They playing space. Courtney didn't come, but Stormy came. Child, so Melder, Martel, uh, his ass walk in. You see they're not featuring Martel that much. They are not featuring Martel. Martel, you might need to get a second job. You might need to go apply for Chippendales or something, or at least, um, what's that little chicken wing place that, uh, Lederick, uh, um, you better talk to Lederick. You better do something, baby, because I don't know if they still featuring your motherfucking ass on the marriage. Anyway, so he comes in. Mel pays him dust, which we don't know if this is the time where the revenge pee was coming out. So we don't know what's the tea with Mel and Martel, but she is not featuring him. When you see me in the that means I don't put my kill. It's giving Cardi B, and I'm here for it because Scorpios are like that. If we don't fuck with you, I don't really have too much to say to you. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to explain it either. And I'm not going to front around other people. I'm still not speaking to your ass. We could be in the court of law in the Supreme Court, and I'm still not going to speak to your motherfucking ass. Anyway, so Kiki and them coming there. Uh, Kiki and her husband come in. They don't speak to Kiki. Y'all started off being petty. Y'all knew Kiki was coming. That's your cousin, bitch. That's your first cousin. Y'all mamas and sisters, y'all mamas came out the same vagina. Stop. You know what? Even when I don't get around along with my family, sometimes you don't need to act like that in front of other people. You know what I'm saying? Save our family shit for family functions. Now, if it's just a family function and y'all want to beat each other up, start shooting, somebody got too much MD 2020, y'all do that. But y'all in the company of other people. So, bitch, you could at least speak to your cousin. I think that's what really pissed Kiki off. So, Kiki, Kiki already on 20. <laughs> Kiki already put 20 on 10. Kiki comes in, start talking to Stormy. She like, yeah, and this is what happened. I was trying to tell her, but her husband had a motherfucking threesome. And the girl told me, I told her, she didn't even want to do it. She was talking about cooking some uh, peach cobbler down the street. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Stormy was like, draw two. Like, bitch, we playing space. Hey, Stormy was trying so hard to stay out the business. It was so funny. So anyway, Kiki gets mad and throw the cards and shit across the motherfucking table because Marceau and Tisha over there, totally ignoring her Talk, acting like the space game is so interesting when your cousin right across the table from you talking about how your husband had a threesome the other day and y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about because the dude on youtube got audio y'all talking about so bitch you're aware of it you have knowledge of it but you're trying to sit here and act like i'm crazy so all hell break loose she child tisha she had a great aim this bitch Black. This bitch was drowned in Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I was happy. I was happy. And for the people in the comments, it's a lot of people under um the Peach Report, the Love and Marriage Huntsville page on Instagram. Da -da. Kiki need her motherfucking ass whoop. Kiki all up in her marriage. Kiki, da -da -da. y'all gonna blame everybody for Tisha marriage except for Tisha. Okay. And for, for seasons, we've been saying, we want Kiki to spill the tea. Last reunion, when Kiki didn't spill the tea, yeah, Kiki on bullshit. Da, da, da. And I said it too. I said, if Kiki come back this season, she gonna have to tell her what it was. She can't keep crying. Well, so now that Kiki telling what the fuck is going on, now y'all mad at Kiki? Come on, say mama. Come on, say mama. Bitch, I am confused even in Spanish. Because guess what? What we not gonna do is we not gonna act like they didn't put her on blast. They didn't put Kiki on blast in the first place in front of Martel and Mel and said this girl did drugs so her and her husband couldn't be on the show. Oh, y'all remember that? Oh, y'all remember that? Do you remember this? Do you remember how they still tried to clown her and put her drug use on blast? Do y'all remember at the beginning of the motherfucking episode when they played the flashback when Letitia was the first one in that damn kitchen talking to Kimmy, talking about, oh girl, yeah, she was on Crime Stoppers. Oh my God, I hope she not back on pills. I don't 
don't feel sorry for that bitch at all. Drown that bitch. Douse her, bitch. I don't give a flying fuck about none of that. Because you a copycat ass bitch. And you tried to play your cousin. And you didn't want your cousin on the show. Because your cousin know all your little secrets. And you can high five and do all of that shit with Mel and Stormy and the rest of these hoes. But you can't do that with your cousin Kiki, can you? Because, you know, Kiki will check your motherfucking ass. She will splash drinks in your face. And if I had five on it... I got five that Kiki will drag the dog shit out of Tisha. And I think Kiki husband will drag the dog shit out of Marceau too. Because you see when they ended up getting into it, Marceau was backing up. Big man was like, ooh, ooh. You know Kiki husband look like a motherfucking linebacker. <laughs> if you scared of Courtney, I know you scared of Tisha husband. I mean Kiki husband. Girl, Marceau got all them motherfucking hips, baby. You need to do some weight training. You need to be in a gym with me. Because you was about to get your motherfucking ass away. <laughs> anyway the episode was good child <laughs> I'm glad that Kiki finally told what the tea is I want the boy you know what if Kiki knew what was good for her she'll go find that boyfriend or I'm gonna go look at STL chemist I'm gonna find out some information and I'll be back to report to y'all <laughs> to report to y'all what other tea I found out anyway the episode was good child I'm here for Love and Marriage Huntsville. Uh, the girls of Huntsville are bringing it. It's way better than it was last season. I can't wait for the reunion. Where was Tiffany at, child? Where was Tiffany and that baby and Big Lou big ass? Where the fuck was they? And where was Nell and where was Nell in me? You know what? Like, if Nell cursed Kimmy motherfucking ass out, I wouldn't be mad. Because y'all still trying to, y'all still didn't invite Nell now. Why y'all ain't inviting them, them? I think the Scots are trying to protect their position on the show. And they don't want Nell and um, Chris Fletcher really to be involved. And they don't really want Stormy and Courtney there. Because those are some real business people of Huntsville. They are really in a stable marriage. They are really out here getting money. And they may wash the Scots out. Which we tired of their motherfucking ass anyway. Anyway. Tell me what y'all think of the show. Tell me. If I'm wrong about the Kiki thing. <laughs> I'm going to listen to what the fuck you got to say. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'll admit that I'm wrong. I'm going to talk a little shit, but I am. So, is Kiki wrong or is Tisha wrong? Now, if my cousin doubts me in a drink like that, would I slap the dog shit out of her? Yes. Would I skull drag her across the picnic table? Yes. Was Kiki wrong? No the fuck she wasn't, bitch, because you started with me. <laughs> So tell me what y'all think. Drop down in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about this episode. Tell me if y'all think that Marceau really had the motherfucking threesome. Tell me if y'all team Kiki or team Tisha. I'm just happy that they ain't talking about Mel now. Bitch, you can't put this on me. I ain't ruin your marriage. <laughs> exactly. Bitch, now stand on your own two toes. Anyway, y'all, I'm out. It's been great. Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. You know, when you like the videos, it's going to recommend a whole bunch of other videos. Probably about, like, celebrity gossip, love and marriage Huntsville. Because y'all know that's what I talk about. Uh, speaking of that, I'm going to try to get y'all some content regularly. <laughs> I'm going to post a video today about some celebrity gossip child. Chris Sean, Blueface, DJ Envy, and Brian McKnight motherfucking ass. I need a whole video to talk about Brian McKnight because he didn't piss me the fuck. This man didn't piss me. If I had one last cry, <laughs> fuck him. Anyway, y'all, tell me what shows y'all want me to review. Have y'all been watching House of Villains with Bobby Lights and Amarosa in um, New York? It's a good ass show, child. I'm, it came, it come on on Thursday. So I probably will do like a little quick recap. And then I'm going um, to start, I'm gonna start reviewing it for y'all. Anyway, let me know what other shows y'all want me to uh, recap for y'all. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, poo.